Greetings, Poké fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of my Pokémon Ultra Sun. Let's play walk through my very first journey through these brand new Pokémon games. If you have been enjoying the series, don't forget to leave a like, make sure you answer the comment question, and if you missed the last episode, make sure you go check that out. We caught Tapu Koko, and it was cool. Um... I... Oh, I did receive this product free from Nintendo. I've been so bad about that lately. It's a good thing this is almost over. <laughs> I... I'm going to be going to catch Tapu Lele in this episode. I am putting Ion in front because Ion knows Thunder Wave, and I do want to Thunder Wave it immediately. Um, I mean, I guess I can throw a Quick Ball, but like, what's a Quick Ball gonna do? Because Psychic Terrain, thankfully, does not. Um, Psychic Terrain does not prevent status conditions. I can't paralyze Tapu Koko because it was an Electric type, and I can't paralyze Tapu Finny because it is. Uh, Misty Terrain. Well, I can paralyze it after Misty Terrain fades. Um, but we're gonna catch Tapu Lele in this episode. And hopefully it doesn't go horribly. Oh, we gotta use Machamp in here. Time to ruin the mood. Whoa, they made this kind of- this- they made this more complicated. This is clearly my only option. A nice flowers in here. I feel like they made these ruins more like detailed. Okay, let's get off a of mod champ shove and get the cool ominous music back. All right, let's walk in. Tapu Lele, the cute yet deadly cocoon girl. The battlefield got weird. All right, I guess let's throw a quick ball just for giggles, but there's like no way this works. <laughs> if it works, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna be stunned. Yeah, no, okay. Knew it wouldn't work. Okay. Thunder Wave. Don't miss. Please don't miss. Okay, that, that can miss. Yes, that's a good miss. Alright, we got it paralyzed. And we're gonna switch into Decidueye here. and false swipe the crap out of this thing. Of course, he uses nature's madness as the Tapu's will. All right, so it's been, this is the fourth turn. Timer balls get better. Oh, wow, nice crit, dude. Oh, okay, all right, we should heal to be safe because that did, if that crit, like, the Zidroy goes down, which is no bueno. <laughs> okay, Moonblast does think less. Yeah, okay. The weirdness disappeared from the battlefield. I like that the psychic terrain is just like, the battlefield got weird. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Ooh, full paralysis. Okay, I want to set up a sub and see if that protects me from nature's madness. This is the Decidueye I use for SOS shiny hunting for... Just so you know. Substitute is very useful for that. Alright, let's throw some Pokeballs. Let's start with Dusk Balls first, because I don't think it's been 10 turns. If I can get a critical capture, that would be super nice, but... As expected, it does not work, because that is how the Tapus work! They don't ever get in the balls when you want them to, until later. Okay, yeah, that didn't last long. Okay. I mean, it's false swiped. It's down to the point where it needs to be, like... 
Okay, no, it's Moon Blast, Nature's Madness, that uh, extra sensory. What's its fourth move? Flatter. All right, I'm con okay. I'm confused now, but that doesn't matter because I've already got. I just I'm I'm doing nothing but throwing balls and healing. All right, well, full paralysis is always nice, but it is not enough currently. I need more success to a car. Legendaries in their annoyingly low catch rates. All right, after this, I'm switching to timer balls, if this doesn't work. If it works, then we're Gucci. Mmm. I said I was going to switch to timer balls, and then I didn't. Oops. <laughs> thankfully, that doesn't do much. And also, thankfully, Nature's Madness doesn't do half of my HP every time. It only does half of my HP if I have full HP. If I have this much HP, it only does about a quarter. I should probably heal this turn. I don't want any stray crits going bad. Throw to bits! Flatter is like a worse version of Swagger because, you know, it sharply raises your special attack, which See, Swagger is like a big risk, big reward type move because sharply raised attack, how much damage a Pokemon does to itself in confusion is determined based on its attack stat versus its defense stat. So while Swagger sharply raises a Pokemon's attack, doing so means that if it hurts itself, it hurts itself more. Um, but Flatter doesn't do that. Flatter just increases your special attack. It like that doesn't make it do more in its confusion, so it's a worse it's a worse version. Come on, dude. Tapu Lily, I would really appreciate it if you would... One more. Yes! <laughs> okay, I just need to say that I would really appreciate it if they would stay in the ball. That's all I gotta do. That's all I gotta do, and then we'll catch it. That wasn't too bad, right? Like, we, we, we got it. Let's see what the Pokedex entry says. Two of five Pokemon left in the decks for me to complete. Two of five. Look at that, just completed the Akaladex. It heals the wounds of people and Pokemon by sprinkling them with its sparkling scales. This guardian deity is worshipped on Akala. I thought in Sun and Moon it said that those scales made people fight each other. Now I'm, 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 I'm sketched out. Oh, I gotta go on the side thing. All right, well, let's get out of here. We're gonna go to, uh, I guess we're gonna fly to an Ula Ula Pokemon Center, heal up, and then call it an episode. I guess we'll just go to the Tapu Village one. Cause I'm just gonna fly straight to the rooms anyways. Thank God you, they let you do that, by the way. That would be so annoying to have to go back through the desert again to get to Tapu Bulu. But we'll catch Tapu Bulu in the next episode. Let's heal up real quick. I don't think I need to get more Pokeballs. I'm debating whether or not to use the catch power. I think I'm actually going to not use the catch power on uh, Tapu Bulu because Tapu Bulu, um, 
I am going to look up what it knows before I do it, but I'm pretty sure... Grassy Terrain's going to make it heal itself each turn, but Grassy Terrain will fade. Um, so if I can just stall that out, then I'll be able to Fall Swipe and be fine. I need to make sure it doesn't know any, like, hurting itself moves or healing itself moves, like Horn Leech. I'll need to look up what it knows. I'm pretty sure it doesn't know Wood, wood Hammer. I don't remember what type of Bulu knows. I'll look it up. If it gets tricky, then I'll use a catch, Rotom catch power. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. Make sure you answer the comment question. And that is all I have for now. So until next time, we'll give hands. Gotta catch them all.